two, I mean, storied rivalry. These two have been on the come up uh, in New York, really just breaking down every single barrier in their way. Gone from unranked players who were left off the PR to now at the very forefront of this entire region. Uh, and they've both been really taking names this tournament. Tilde has uh, wins on Yoda Cage, Angel, Ziglet, Daybreak, and SAX this tournament. Well, Quinn has taken out Moxie, Choco Taco, Cafe, and Linus in their path. So both of these players working pretty hard to get here, staying in winners. Uh, Quinn not dropping a single game this entire tournament, while Tilde only dropped one to Angel. So it it's going to be crazy, Lyric. This is going to be a nutty set. Nah, so far, so far, so good from Quid from both these players. What I love about Quid's PT is that he is very good with all three Mon. I know he's a very big Ivysaur player, and he's a big Ivysaur aficionado, but seeing Swirl get some prime time is really good. Now, here's the thing. On the other side of that, Tilde does have a practice partner in Beast. They do play a lot. So I'm interested to see how Tilde is going to approach this one, especially we got to look out for some of these combos. Ooh, okay, going for the, the jab there. Interesting option. That's, the, that's one thing about Quinn is like we laud him for his Ivysaur because that's his mon of choice traditionally, but his Squirtle is phenomenal. He is probably one of the best Squirtles in Advantage State Holds I've ever seen with this character. All right, looking for something. Great start for Quid here. Gonna get the Squirtle Classic combo here. Going for the back air. Ooh, Tilde gonna be able to find a down air into the fair. Looking good so far. What's he gonna go for? You know what he's going for, Tilde. He's gonna go right off, but Quid don't miss those. He really doesn't. I mean, that hitbox <laughs> is massive as well, but Quid just has such a good knowledge of timing on how to use that move. Both of these two players are advantage state masters as well. So I really wanna see how both of them are really gonna handle getting out of these vortexes. Because Ivy has an incredible advantage state, and same with Falco. So I, I feel like both of them just need to start playing a little bit more evasively. They need to figure out how to get out of these strings. I feel like we're gonna be seeing a lot of resets to ledge for sure for both of them. Absolutely, we just saw that right there from uh, Tilde there. We're gonna eat a couple back airs to it. Oh, I like how uh, Quid actually just came down with like the aggressive razor leaves. Really smart. Once again, Ivysaur aficionado here. Tilde gonna be able to find his mark into down air up air. Now, here comes Zard, but we're gonna go throw him right back into the Pokeball. Tilde really? here. Good lead cleared up already for Quid at this point. I mean, you, you see there's no really urgency in Quid having to approach Tilde at this point, but it is Falco. We're already seeing the percent climb all the way up to 80 right now for uh, and Quid. Almost dying too, if that switch wasn't a little bit more delayed. Okay, great hurt off shift from Tilde too. Here we go, looking for something. Gonna be able to find it. Goes to the back there. Not there quite yet either. Here comes Zard though. Let's see exactly what he can do. I mean, he's at 99%. I feel like Quid is looking for a back throw, but wow. he gets the back air instead. And that is gonna be 1-0 for Westchester right now. And you can see them popping off in the front. I was, uh, I was talking to Quid earlier uh, this tournament about how his mental was. Kid, kid is literally just happy to be here, literally. I but love he, that. On the sticks, though, he's an ice cold killer. You saw that composure after that game one right there. Tilde kind of getting thrown for a loop. We saw a three to one stock lead at one point during that first game. Quid's positioning around that top platform of Hollow Bastion was masterful. The way he was using Ivy Sword to sort of maybe trick Tilde into overcommitting with movement a little bit and just punish Tilde's overextensions so hard that game. All right, looking forward to number. Game number two, we're gonna go onto Small Battlefield. I know this is a great stage for both these characters, but Tilde loves this especially. What do you think Tilde needs to be doing a little bit better? Because, I don't know, it felt like he didn't have control at all for the first part of that match, Finn. That's the thing, Falco works best at when he's in control. Like, I, I feel like that the character needs to dictate the pace of the game somewhat in order to get most of his combos off, most of his damage up. The thing is, Quid is approaching very, very carefully right now. I think another thing that's really been messing Tilde up is his overextensions. He's been trying to go for these brazen down airs off stage. If you're if you're recovering vertically against Ivysaur, you're not gonna be ha you're not gonna be having a good day. That's absolutely true. Here we go though. Quid still kind of just playing super aggressively. Gonna send out the Ivysaur. I feel like I was surprised that he didn't actually go for an up air there when he was falling right back down, but Tilde still on the edge and can find that up air anyway. It's like we're commentators, right? Like, <laughs> we know fun. the best <laughs> option. But here we go, Quid already just back on him, man. The aggression here is insane. Okay, Tilde getting that link off there. I like Tilde's composure there and patience to wait for the switch right there. It's basically a pseudo air dodge that keeps the opponent directly in the place. Tilde knows what to look out for. I believe these two have played a decent amount before. I don't think there's too much interaction since Tilde mainly free casino and Quid is mostly within the realm of Encore, which is Westchester and uh, Chinatown separately, which are pretty far from each other. All right, here we go. Tilde signature up air, or up tilt into a couple up airs. Quid looking for something else, though. Gonna be able to find the back air. 
Let's see what else. Ooh, okay. Looking good so far from both players. I feel like Tilde is finding his way back into this match. He's not going in with super unnecessarily unsafe moves anymore. That fair was a little unsafe, but looking for anything that'll help him get back up. And we got to make note of this grounded movement from uh, Quid with the Squirtle right now. Just really picking his op his openings really, really wisely here. Waiting for Tilde to whiff. You know, Squirtle is a fantastic character to whip punish with, and you want to be using him for early percent combos and to really build yourself up to that boomstick that Ivysaur is. You know, we saw such seamless links from Quid already with the Razor Leaf into up air. Quid is definitely searching for that win condition right now, and that back air was almost going to do it. All right, getting... Getting some razor leaves off. You know what he's looking for, yep. but Tilda's gonna fly <laughs> high in the sky saying, I'm not giving you that up there. All right, here we go. Pretty even percent from both these players right now. Tilde, once again, I feel like he's heating up, he's cooking up, but Zard's gonna be able to get the grab first. Up throw, not gonna be able to take it. Surprisingly weak. I feel like a lot of people, whenever they see Charizard, they expect everything to kill. That up throw may not necessarily be the case. Tilde also doing a really wise job of saving his double jumps a lot of the time. Falco does have the highest jump height in the game, so it's helpful that he can hit that eject button against a character like Ivysaur, who has galaxy-sized hitboxes on both up air and down air. Tilde looking for anything. Oh, Ooh, that's a shield break! That's a shield break. I don't think he can convert a stock off of this, though. But just good damage. Just swinging that neck. <laughs> looking for something here. Quid. I feel like he's gonna hang out on the Ivy. There's no, or the, on the Zard. There's no reason to change back to Ivy at this point. Ooh, okay. Going for a tomahawk there. Not gonna be able to find anything. Ooh, okay. Doing a little roll dance behind both these players. All right, the great F tilt from Quid here. Charizard also a very lethal mod. I mean, we were seeing earlier with what Beast could do with this character. Tried to get the two frame dare through ledge, but excellent angle riding up the stage from Tilde, getting him out of harm's way. And uh, this is looking like a very finite stock for Quinn at this point. Now we're up to last stock. Tilde's been adapting really well this game. Yeah, no, for sure. He's definitely down by a fair share. Oh my god, okay. Usually we see that Tilde would go for that up tilt and then he would kind of continue with some aerials there. But I really like the illusion mix up. At least he's trying to do something different. Okay, Vine Whip not going to be able to take it. You know what Quinn is looking for. He's looking for these high flying jumps. It is such a similar situation we've been seeing repeatedly too, Lyric. Like every single time it seems like. Uh, Tilde has just been locked down on these platforms while Quid is just sharking for that up air. And Quid gets to keep all the stage control when that happens too. Excellent aerial catch right there with the Vine Whip, baby. We're in the Quid game. There's no escape. <laughs> There's no escape from the quid game. Definitely not. That is also your squad strike champion too. True, if you weren't true. if you weren't here on Friday, uh, this Ivy Sword did so much work, man. Once again, one of the best in the biz at Pokemon Trainer right now. And boom, meets him right up there mm -hmm. in the sky. Good catch too, because yeah. if you notice, Tilde has been doing opting for that recovery option quite a bit. Just because Ivysaur can really just catch any vertical recovery, we know Quid has that proper timing for it. So Tilde just keeps selecting to go high in order to provide himself additional escape space. But Quid kind of catching on to that really qu quickly. That adaptation is super, super fast. Uh, Definitely looking a little hard for Tilde in this situation. I mean, also, we mentioned Squ uh, Quid being the Squad Strike champion. My boy played five characters at a high level that's in Squad very Strike. True. That that's wild. Pokemon Going back Trainer plus Steve and Pac-Man. That's nuts. I feel like everybody has a pocket Pac-Man. I feel I, like I everybody has a has like a <laughs> sick pocket mid tier. Everybody has a sick pocket mid tier. I don't know. Everyone says it. It's like, yo, have you seen my Dr. Mario? It's crazy. But my Pac-Man smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Great jumps by Tilde, going to be able to make it back. Looking for anything though, going to be able to find the up tilt off of Quid's mistake there. Quid so far sitting down at 75%. This may be the first time we've actually seen Tilde up in percent this entire set so far. And that's the thing, we, we saw an early opt for Quid to switch from Squirtle to Ivysaur. Ivy pretty much lauded by most PT players as the Mon with the worst disadvantage. His jumps are pretty easily caught, you can anti-air him decently, and you can just kind of combo him into oblivion. So if there's any time for it to be go time for Tilde, it's right now. Now. All right, Tilde going to be able to find the fair. Still leaving on that pressure, but I feel like he's actually respecting Quid a lot more. Actually backing up, he's going to eat the foot to the face. And Tilde going to be up for the first time in this set. Let's see how well he'll be able to hold Fang. We're seeing the swap to Squirtle. We saw how good the Squirtle was in the space control, but now that Tilde has the lead, he can dictate how he wants Quid to approach him a little bit better now. He's instead going to shift from playing a game where he has to find his way in to finding these grabs, finding these up tilts, and finding these startups from these long combo strings we all know and love Tilde for. All right, here we go. 
Once again, I love the way that Tilde is actually now playing pretty passive. He's waiting for the right time to come. All right, almost gets flipped by the Vine Whip again. But you know Razor Leaf into yeah. up air. That's a basically a confirm <laughs> at that point. Try it at home, kids. You'll be able to get in like five minutes. Really Very consistent, true. really good. Uh, I feel like Quinn has just been on point. Literally, the punish game has been so phenomenal each and every time that Tilde even overextends slightly. Mm -hmm. Sitting at 105 right now. I'm curious to see when Zard's going to come out, but Ivysaur are going to stay a, a while here. Down throw goes for the Vine Whip once again. Has a perfect edge guard opportunity. And potentially, oh, unfortunately, whips the grab and it's going to eat the back air, but is able to live with some excellent DI thing. I love how acutely aware uh, Quid has been the entire time of Falco's range, too. You know, you, you really only have to fear Falco when he's directly in your face. At a mid range, it's too far to commit a laser to. So Quid has been opting to just wall him out with these Ivy Sword back airs. Because there's no way Tilde's going to be able to break that line of defense right there. Or line of aggression, rather. Yeah, great reversal, though, by Quinn. Here we go. We know what Charizard can do. Really does steal away games and steal away momentum. Great uh -oh. re-grab by Quinn. Here we go, Flame Breath. Nice angle up to avoid the Firebird. Going to eat the fair to the face. This could potentially be it, but chooses the wrong option. Picks it back up with the up air. Looking for anything else. Tilde looking to disengage the situation or even just bring it back. But you are going right into that Charizard up smash. And that is a 3-0 for Westchester over New York City. Man, brutal ending. That's top eight. This Jeez. is, this is, I believe, Quid's first top eight at an event of this scale. And I believe, uh, I think he has the one seed now, doesn't he? This is the one seed. That was, that was Winner's Corner's the top, the very top side of it, right? Can I get verification on that? I think Quid now has the first seed of this tournament, which originally was at Cola, and he played that entire set so masterfully. You saw how he didn't want to interact in Tilde's danger range right there. You saw how he, he was playing ever so slightly out of up tilt range, but just close enough to where laser couldn't be a threat and option. Side B would have been an overcommitment. Quid was very, very aware of the space he needed to control, and Tilde's punish game just wasn't enough to keep up with it, I feel like. It's definitely for sure. One of the things that we all love about Tilde is the, those cutscene combos, right? They're mm -hmm. classic. Everybody hates getting hit Can't by them. Can't press skip on those. Yeah, no, for <laughs> sure. And it just, it, they were just not coming out all the way that we know them for. But I believe we do have some ads to ride, uh, run Fang. So Here we why go. don't you take them through us right now? So F COVID, support Let's Make, <laughs> let's make Big Moves. I can? Oh my. I was on Dimmer stream before. Oh, I can't say I'm, Fuck COVID.